Okay, so we have all the files from 2019, um, uh, the radio signals which have been filtered for the specific frequency, which is around 982 uh, megahertz. Um, so these files are quite small, uh, but they've already been filtered. So if we click one, we then can see the um, the waterfall. But if we just choose one with an actual signal like this one, um, you can see the the potential signal there from Proxima Centauri or or where the the think it's coming from that direction rather. Um, so what you can do then, uh, you can obviously you know change the the filter uh, the threshold value. You know, so you can actually see just the signal there. Now all this could just be a waste of time, but it was just a, a fun learning experience. Um, so what you can do is click set here and we can just set closer to where the signal is, set the end one. And then we can see the signal there. So if we just set this here and the end here, what this does is we then have the start of the signal and the end of the signal and this will then give us the, the drift rate. Um, so, for example, if we move this one here now, well, if we enable the Doppler drift filter, if we enable this one and keep going back, you can see now we're filtering out all the sort of background noise there. Um, I'll just show you what that's like if, um, if it's set like this, just as an example. So if we enable it here, you can see this is like following the uh, the drift rate. However, the uh, because the start, you know, that's not the the range. You can see that it's it's this is incorrect because we haven't set the correct start and end um, uh, frequency for the for the signal, so we can calculate the drift rate. So uh, let's just take that back off and then go back here. I'll just do that to make it easier to find. There we go. So we have that. Um, then what we can do, we can see here now we've got 0 0.03 hertz a second. Um, whether that is right in the nature paper, it seemed to be a bit different, but I think I might have been reading uh, one for um, one of the later signals. Uh, however, that's what, what I get here, and it does seem to be correct, assuming this is the signal, which it looked like in the in, in the paper. Um, as, I, as I mentioned before, I believe, you know, I'm not an expert on this. I've never done anything like this before. It was just kind of cool to, to do. Um, so it's probably just uh, potentially useless. Um, so, yeah, so we can, in, we, what we can also do is, is uh, we can normalize the, the data based on each time slice. Um, or we can also do global normalize to global uh, globalize across the entire data. Um, so what we will do though, we're just going to disable that, and we're just going to just lower this again to just get you know in that sort of range. We can increase the threshold level here to get rid of sort of this background noisy stuff here, you know, and that's like probably pretty clear. You could probably imagine that. Part of the signal here has very rare, low chance of any background noise there. Um, you know, so we could filter higher, but I think what we'll do in this case, you know, uh, there probably is a lot more tools, better tools to be able to do this. And this is a very crude way, but still pretty interesting, I thought. But we'll just lower this down now so that we just have the signal in the in the range. You can see all those lines going away. Like if we put it over here, you know, we're getting, we're not sort of tracked onto the onto the signal because the um, the drift bandwidth um, uh, that's uh, incorrect. But um, it's basically including the stuff from the outside. So if we just move that down. You know could say that's covered it if we just go a bit smaller you know that's probably covering covering it all um like if we did increase this now 
you know, we could be losing some data. So whether it needs some other tools to be able to do that or however they do that do it or maybe we need some raw data the raw data maybe there's more information in there to be able to decode or decipher these signals for for whatever they are um i i, I don't know um i'll probably look into that in the future if i get time um so yeah so we've done that and then basically we've just filtered the, the actual signal assuming that is that is it you know we can normalize it as well and because these are all in their own sort of time slice um uh they, they'll all be maximum intensity but i'm just going to leave that that down um and then also what you can do obviously you can see a histogram of the uh the, the intensity here um it, obviously that looks a bit better if i if i reset this but I, i'll have to do all that again so i won't bother uh, but then you'll be able to see you know a sort of a bell curve of the um uh, the histogram um so yeah. okay so we've got the amplitude over time we can have a scatter graph bar um and then also we can also play the audio back so obviously this uh, uh could pos potentially be meaningless but who knows Yeah, and that is just on the the filtered data as well um so we can also normalize globally normalize this so we do get sort of the the um full peaks and also when you use global normalizing you've got it in uh, the drift filter on it will normalize against only the data within this um uh, within the drift filter Yeah, so and also you can download the um, uh, the peak signal data for all these uh, and then you can also download all signal data which is still all the, the filtered data but for example uh, like in here if for example this was increased uh, we decrease that then it will include all the data points within this filter so for each time slice there might be multiple signals um, whereas if you download this one uh, it will only include the peak signals so whether that's useful for machine learning or something i i have no idea maybe it's something we'll look at in the future anyway i hope you uh enjoyed that um it was quite fun to do and maybe i'll we'll look into it in future if it is of interest or of use or if anyone's got any ideas of adding more filters or ways to decode the data um i might try uh improving it in future